So the first plants to arrive on land did not have flowers. They resemble what we today would call liverworts. Well, the fossil record shows that plants have been engaging in interactions with beneficial microbes for over 450 million years or so. We didn't know whether plants were interacting with pathogens at this time. We believed that they were, but we didn't have any evidence to suggest that this was happening. The track record in uh, fossils is very limited, probably because pathogens often kill their tissues, and that's why they are not maintained. We wanted to know whether Phytophthora palmivora, a broad host range pathogen which can infect many different plant species, is not only able to infect flowering plants, but can also infect liverworts, which are an early descendant lineage of land plants. In flowering plants, these pathogens affect the individual cells, they invade them and they live in these living cells, and we had no idea whether the same is true for liverworts. So to determine whether liverworts interact with filamentous pathogens, we infected the Marcantia polymorpha, modern liverwort, with broad host range filamentous pathogen Phytophthora palmivora. To do this, we drop a suspension of pathogen spores onto the surface of the liverwort, onto the thallus on the top. So we showed that the pathogen colonizes the upper photosynthetic layer of the liverwort thallus. The overall infection process is fairly quick. The pathogen really sets up colonization within two to three days and, and we start to see uh, fairly profuse intracellular colonization and gradual spreading of pathogen hyphae across the liverwort thallus and invades air chambers which are structures on the top of the liverwort. Marcantia responds to infection by deploying proteins which accumulate at intracellular infection structures. These proteins are similar to those found in flowering plants such as Arabidopsis, uh, Medicago, or tobacco. The proteins that are accumulating at these infection sites are, are involved in trafficking. Well, we think that they're shuttling um, defense components or nutrients or other things to the uh, pathogen interface, um, but these proteins are also found in interactions with uh, symbiotic microbes. So they're, they're really establishing a dialogue between the plant and the invading microbe. The most significant finding of our research is that filamentous pathogens can invade living cells, not only in flowering plants, but also in these early descendant lineages which separated from plants before flowers even evolved. This extends our understanding about the overlap between pathogenic and symbiotic interactions. From this we can derive very interesting questions such as whether this whole principle of interacting with microorganisms is conserved across all plant lineages whether there's a core set of proteins and genes contributing to this process on both sides, of, on the microbial side and on the plant side. And this might help us to engineer plants which can benefit from symbionts but can still defend efficiently against pathogens.